Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Odin's Movie Blog. I am the critic who is a cynic. Hope you're doing well, and today we'll be talking a little bit about the rise of Skywalker, or as we like to say on the channel, the rise of Soywalker, because we've got some more information now coming out about what actually will happen in the film. Now, this is a movie that finally comes out next week, and I, at this point, am going to be seeing an early showing of it, thanks to my friend John the Flick Pit. Go check out his channel. He's an awesome dude, and we'll be going to see that together on on Tuesday, so I will try and get my instant thoughts and reaction to you all as soon as I'm allowed to, because obviously they like to try and keep every review hush hush until a certain period of time, and because I want to make sure that he's okay and that he doesn't get affected by me saying something, I'm gonna hold off until I'm allowed to for his own sake. But Man, oh man, I almost can't wait for this to be over. <laughs> it's like I'm excited to see the movie only so that I can finally say, all right, we're done. We're, th we're through with it. The Disney trilogy is officially over. Now, hopefully, we can move on to better things. And hopefully, Kathleen Kennedy and, and Ryan Johnson and all the people that have really been behind J.J. Abrams, that have been behind the destruction of Star Wars, can can move on to other projects and let maybe new voices like John Favreau's and Dave Filoni's and other people that are doing some pretty good work right now. Not perfect work, but pretty good work with The Mandalorian and things like that instead. That way, we can actually get good Star Wars again. Because if this is to be believed, if this is indeed true, which... Based on a lot of the, you know, we've gotten a lot of leaks from people on Reddit, things like that, which are always, you take with a giant grain of salt. This one, to me, seems to have a little bit more credibility because it has to do with the rating system. And you all know that when a film is rated, they always have to tell you why a film is rated in a specific way. And so you might have some spoilers here. They don't really tell you the characters that they're happening to or how it happens, etc. But it is still interesting nonetheless. And some of them sound pretty damn stupid. And so as you can tell from the title from John F. Trent, new Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker plot details revealed, character's face is melted. So we've got some face melting in here. We got some Indiana Jones stuff going on in here. Oh lordy. Guess you can tell that Kathleen Kennedy is behind this project, which is trying to bring that back. So as it says, the new Star Wars Rise of Skywalker plot details reveal that at least one character's face is melted by fantastical energy. Fantastical. I love using the word fantastical, but I just think it's hilarious that that's an unofficial review from the film. The plot details come from the British Board of Film Classification. So this is the British version of the MPAA, which is the Motion Picture Association of America. Obviously, every country is going to have different rating systems. This is the one that is for the UK. Underneath their ratings info section, it details under the subheading violence that the film includes fights with fantastical weapons, include impalements, and brief sight of blood and injury. Wait, there's gonna be blood shown in a Star Wars movie? I know we could talk about the old, you know, the, the traditional Star Wars film showing some aspects of blood, but wait a minute, Disney's gonna show blood in a Star Wars movie? Oh my goodness gracious, call everyone, this is gonna be insane! Oh man, can't wait to see that. And then a character's face is melted by fantastical energy. So essentially we're meaning the force or we're meaning that maybe his face gets chopped off by a lightsaber. Is, is that what we're talking about here? If someone's face is going to get chopped off by a lightsaber, as long as that face has some like random motions at the very end of it with some, you know, really cool. I'm overthinking this now. No, that, that would be a too, that would be too great. I would love to see someone's face get chopped off and still be moving. Imagine if they would get some animatronics behind that and have a face, like a, an actual like rendition of someone's face and it's like start moving and the lips are still twitching. That could be awesome. That could be badass. Nah, Disney's not gonna do that. No, it's just gonna be fantastical energy and it's gonna be a quick cut and no one's gonna see anything. Underneath the threat and horror subheading, we were uh, we get even more plot details where it says a young woman finds herself alone amidst an arena of sinister enemies taunted by their leader. A character briefly becomes fanged and demonic. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Fanged and demonic. Are they introducing vampires into Star Wars? Are we getting Star Wars Vampire Chronicles? W what in the world does that mean? A character becomes briefly fanged and demonic. Oh my goodness. I'm assuming this is happening in a force dream or some random event, but if this is happening in real life, oh my lordy. So people wondering where this is coming from. This is not coming from Reddit. This is not coming from a random source. This is coming from the official review board of Britain. So obviously every single country is going to have a different way of telling us what is in a film. This seems to be pretty detailed, I would say. I'm, I'm so kind of surprised that they have this much detail in it. But then again, when you're trying to tell people, oh, you might want to be careful bringing your children to it because they might have to see a character become demonic and fanged for a, for a, few, for a few moments, for a few seconds. <laughs> 
Oh my goodness gracious. So, and here is the actual heading right here from the actual official website. Star Wars Rise of Skywalker is a sci-fi fantasy adventure in which a band of rebels make their final stand against an evil power. And then it says there about the violence and the threat and horror. Fanged and demonic, there it is. There is infrequent mild bad language, including ass. As well as use of milder terms such as hell and damn, there are, multi there are mild upsetting scenes. Mild upsetting scenes. How do you define what is an upsetting scene? That's interesting. This work contains flashing images which may affect viewers who are susceptible to photosensitive epilepsy. And that, to me, is the only thing worth mentioning in this is thank you for actually caring for people with conditions that are going to be actually affected by something versus the this is what we think we should talk to you about. This is what we think we should say, oh, this is the reason why we're going to rate it a certain way. No. Telling people about epilepsy, telling people about the flashing lights, that's important. That, that is medically important. Everything else is just, oh my goodness. It, it not only looks bad on the film board, it also looks really bad for the rise of Skywalker as well. I don't know about you, says John of Trent, but this definitely appears to be hinting at what we can expect Emperor Palpatine will be in the film. Maybe more importantly, it sounds like Voldemort from Harry Potter. Yes, it does. It really does does. Harry Potter fans will remember that Voldemort actually acted like a vampire in the first Harry Potter film, where he sucked on the blood of unicorns in order to stay alive. It's quite possible that they may explain the Emperor's long lifespan through some kind of vampiric force powers. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness gracious. They're gonna make Emperor Palpatine into a vampire. That's what all the fans want to see, is one of the coolest villains of all time turned into... A vampire, and I hope it is like the Twilight Vampires, so that way we can get some twinkling action going on, because that would just be perfect. A Force Vampire is not unheard of. In Dangers from the Dark Side, Villains from the Star Wars New Republic Campaign Part 2, a Force Vampire was introduced. This Force Vampire was originally the Jedi Knight Tel Angor. Tel Angor was turned into a Force Vampire via experimentation from the Order of the Silver Jedi. They were attempting to create a living symbol of the light side of the Force. However, their experiment went horribly wrong and transformed Tel Angor into a Force Vampire who fed off the Force. But you see, that kind of just looks a lot better. It kind of looks a little bit cooler because... I don't see fangs there. The fact that they mentioned specifically that someone looks demonic and fangs tells me, no, no, no. Not just are they saying he's sucking the force out of people. They're turning him into a freaking vampire. An actual freaking vampire. This is just, this is the... <laughs> Oh, this is too much. What are y'all's thoughts about this, though? I mean, seriously, every day we're getting more things. A new, a new article just came out today where apparently one of the Reddit leakers once again has come out with more information from a new source. So it's going to be interesting to see what are these, which of these rumors turns out to be true. It seems a lot of these rumors have turned out to be true just based on the trailers and the TV spots that seem to reveal these certain elements of the story. This, of course, is something that's not even just a leak. It's just, hey, this is the rating of the film, and so they have to tell us a certain amount of information. But man, oh man, we're getting fanged teeth, demonic face, we're getting Force Palpatine Vampire. We're getting Vampire. We're getting Count, not just Emperor. We're getting Count Palpatine. I want to suck your Force. Yes, I am Count Van. Execute order. Suck the blood of the Jedi. Like, what are they going to, are they giving him an accent now? Like, oh my goodness. Let me know your thoughts about this. Uh, what are your thoughts on Count Palpatine? Do you think that's going to be a good story? I just... Oh, Disney! Oh, I can't wait for this trilogy to be over so that we can hopefully move on to better things and people like Kathleen Kennedy, Ryan Johnson, Bob Iger not just leave on their own, perhaps, but even lose their jobs. Let me know your thoughts about this and all the things I talked about in the comment section below. But like this video, smash that like button, give us a subscribe, that helps about a lot. You're all amazing and beautiful people. Have a wonderful day, and as always, God bless. <sighs> Count frickin' Palpatine.